History was created on June 17 at the New Amsterdam Hospital when Dr. Tameshwar Algu and a medical team performed the first laparoscopic surgery in Guyana. Narima Ali reports. A team of doctors at the New Amsterdam Hospital successfully performed the first laparoscopic common bile duct exploration in the country. The team comprised of Dr. Tameshwar Algu, Dr. Ravinath Takordin, and Dr. Mahendra Ramprasad, who completed the operation on Thursday, June 17, 2021, on a 35-year-old female patient. At a press briefing hosted at the Regional Health Services boardroom, Dr. Algu related these details about the operation. The surgery took approximately uh, four hours to complete, and it was done totally laparoscopically and endoscopically. And that basically means that we didn't make any large cuts in our abdomen. We made some small incisions, we call it, they call it keyhole surgery, and the incisions are probably about uh, one centimeter or five millimeter. Uh, so she had several of these small uh, incisions that trocars were passed yeah. and instruments were passed in, and the surgery was done with the aid of a monitor. So we did not go into our abdomen and physically add our hands in the abdomen. He continued to note how the procedure was executed and spoke briefly about the patient's recovery. So we had the procedure done. The, I think it was a pretty successful procedure. We did what we call a folioposcopy. We put a camera through the common bile duct and we ensured that the duct was clear using that camera. Um, when we finished the, that part, we closed the, the duct primarily. Meaning the duct is the tube that connects the liver to the bowel. So that was closed primarily. That in itself is, is a big, big step. All right. We did not go forward with this operation looking to do the first one. Actually, it was a few days later that we realized it was the first one uh, done in the country. We went forward because uh, the equipment is here, the expertise is here, and it benefited the patient more. Uh, more so by the evening of the surgery, the patient's pain level was minimal. And by the first day post surgery, she was ambulant moving around and she was actually tolerating that. And she was discharged uh, six days post surgery, uh, doing well, and she used to be followed up. Uh, High praises were given to the nurses and other doctors that assisted in the operation. I don't think the surgery would have been possible uh, without any of the other surgeons uh, earlier. So the surgery team is a big thing, the three of us. Uh, our GMOs, they played a big role in getting the patient ready uh, before the surgery and they played a big role in helping in the post-operative recovery of the patient. Our anesthetic staff, they did a, a wonderful job uh, taking her through the entire operation. Uh, we have two anesthetic nurses here who are pretty uh, wonderful. They have at least 30 years of experience each. Uh, their names are Brother Ramgavin and Brother Samson, so I, I would like to recognize them. Because they, without them, I don't think we could have uh, functioned, not only in this case, uh, but in other surgeries as well. So I must thank the anesthetic team, but specifically I like to point out those two gentlemen. Must thank our nurses who played a major part uh, in the operation, because without their nurses, we are not really anything because they have to be the one doing all the preparation and they have to assist us through the procedure. So we must give our attention to them. Dr. Algu further stated that the new technological advancements will be sure to improve the health care provision in Region 6. We have had some issues in the past. One was the COVID situation and then we had some infrastructural issues at the hospital. And yes, there is a small backlog, well, a backlog of cases. Uh, to be done. But once this uh, laparoscopic theater is, starts going, uh, I think a lot of that hot bomb will be cleared and I think we will we will be second to the Georgetown Hospital in terms of offering uh, laparoscopic surgery. Of note, New Amsterdam Hospital is only the third uh, public hospital in the country that's offering laparoscopic surgery. So it's not a Georgetown public hospital, uh, at Linden Hospital and here at New Amsterdam. We actually started in 2016. Uh, Dr. Ramsami has assured us that he did the investment from the, the side of the ministry 
demand from the government will be there. The admin buy-in will definitely be there for us to develop this court. Health advisor to the Minister of Health, Dr. Leslie Ramsamy, also lauded the medical team for their success at the laparoscopic operation during the press briefing. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.